the article. Um, this is Victoria Scott Miller, who is the most interesting and deep person that I know. Um, yes, her words are always inspiring and insightful, and I believe she sees the world better than most. She has been included in the exhibition because I think she is the perfect person to hold a mirror, a reflection back at the viewer. Um, we've had several conversations in which I've left enlightened. And I feel like she holds the power to give that back to other people. Um, yes, um, this painting is on its own wall because I wanted it to be a moment of self-reflection for the viewer who was standing in front of the wall. Right. Um, so the mirror is broken because the world we live in is broken. America is broken. So I wanted you to take a moment to look in the mirror, see yourself, and see, and think about how you fit into the picture. She's just existing in space. Um, now that you say it, I guess she is in a world wrong, right? Because everyone else has like a variegationally or a distinct background, but hers is just like, um, it's like reverent and like, it's like, it's like a world of power or something. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but. Yeah, it's definitely powerful. I mean, I think it's powerful that I made it. Um, because I wanted the mirror to reflect what I had on my shirt, which is all we ever did was be black. But at the same time, the person looking in the mirror can see themselves too. So I wanted the whole story to come together at the end, like, you're looking at us, all we ever did was exist, basically. Like, how do you fit into the story? Like, where do you see yourself in the storyline? Um, I mean, there's several questions you, you can pose. Like, is there anything you could have done to prevent that? Or is there anything you can do to prevent that from happening again? Um, how do you see yourself in that situation? Or how do you see yourself now, if I've gone, right, and you can see Candyland in the picture, what role could you play in my children's lives? Or what could you play, what role could you play in my wife's life? Like, we're directly across from you. So, I mean, we're still in your frame, right? So, you can't say you don't see us, right? It's not unseen, these are things that you're seeing. So, now what role could you, the viewer, play? in the story, so I'm almost bringing you into the story. Um, yeah, so this could be the end or it could be the beginning of Unseen 2, right? So the story can restart with who I was looking at it. Um, yeah, so it's almost like open-ended. I like the idea of this being the final chapter. With the end being, you being implemented into the story, and now you can see us, right? Where do, you, where do we go from here? Because we're no longer unseen. I've shown, I've shown you everything, right? I've shown you, I've shown you beginning to end, why I made the work, what the work is about. Now that you're in the story, where, where are you gonna take it from here? Like, it can go in any direction, right? You can close your eyes and we can be unseen again. But, I mean, I heard a quote a while ago that said, once you see it, it can't be unseen. So now that you've seen this, 
ਗੋਲੀ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ